Park marks the first time that Santa Cruz as a community really took a stand and developed their identity as preservationists. This park was slated for development, and it would have been a development that would double the size of the city. But the people in the community said no, and here it was preserved. And since then, we've preserved a lot of public space uh, around Santa Cruz County. This is a 7,000 acre park that is bound into history. A lot of people notice that this feels a lot like uh, the coast of England or somewhere in the British Isles. Early settlers noticed that as well. Irish immigrants were really attracted to some of the places along coastal California and they brought their tradition of dairy farming with them. The Wilders had their dairy farm here for many, many years and today we have the working farm complex where people can learn a lot about history and then head out on 34 miles of trails. California sage, this artemisia, is a part of the coastal scrub community and it's got a really lovely smell that has also got a lot of medicinal qualities too. This is part of the California Coastal Trail and the Old Cove Landing Trail is two and a half miles. It starts up at the Wilder Ranch parking lot and walks along the bluffs until you can see the ocean. I love this ranch and uh, not only do I get to work here, but I've been a visitor here uh, since I first came to Santa Cruz. And my favorite thing is hiking up into the marine terraces and looking out over the expansive views of the ocean. Walking along the ocean, you get glimpses of these little inlet beaches. You can pop down to Fern Grotto or Old Cove Landing Beach. The beach back here is something you don't always see in a lot of our Central Coast communities because it's a beach that is specially protected. It looks the way a California coastal beach would have looked like for thousands of years, back to when the Ohlone people would have lived here. Well, as you're walking along the Old Cove Landing Trail, you're walking on an ancient seabed. And this is one of several marine terraces that are a result of the sea descending and the land rising over time. Something that's kind of special about this park is that it gets a lot of impact. It gets a lot of use, particularly from mountain bikers. And mountain bikers have come together as volunteers and help to manage some of the trails so that they can continue to be used. I don't often see the wild cucumber growing in such a massive amount in one place. It's really beautiful right here. You can see it amassing all over the coyote brush behind it. And it's got these beautiful tiny white flowers here. It's a California native and um, it's got a tuber that has been food for people in the past. You can hike this trail on your own, or you can meet one of our docents for a public guided walk, and these happen almost every weekend. Busman's holiday, all the time I come here on my day off to enjoy the park. I was here already twice this weekend. <laughs>